Okay. Come up to do the afternoon chores. Two positives. Three positives. Everyone's doing great, including Adam. There is no snake. And Miss Blanche is up, honey. We're going to candle these eggs. We're going to have some more duck babies, I'm telling you. Miss Blanche, how you doing, honey? How you doing, girl? You haven't been out in ages. Yes. What are you doing? Girlfriend. Oh. Okay. So she's up. She's walking around. Eggs, including the duck eggs, were all still here. We have five duck eggs so far. We're well over seven days. Off the top of my head, I don't know where we are. I'm going to have to think about that for just a second. I got so excited. But I've given her fresh bedding. So we're going to candle the eggs. So, Mr. Cutie Pie in the red Tennessee Appalachia's home. <laughs> Show the muscles, baby. <laughs> Listen, I need you to be my um, sunblock so I can... Um, Handle these eggs real quick to see what we've got. I have no idea, okay? You look so cute. Showered. I'm I'm no good. I'm no good. But did you get you got to um you mowed the orchard down. So now I we attempted to mow the orchard down. You attempted. Did it go pretty good? You were covered with grass. Covered. Okay. I'm, is she still up? We better get busy. Girlfriend, I'm gonna let you keep those eggs for now. Okay? Those are those crazy turkey eggs. Honey, she jumped back on that nest. I haven't even got to candle the duck eggs yet. So, but she's already nestling in and pulling them under. Such a good broody mama. Look at that pretty girl, Miss Blanche. Okay. All right, baby. So this is where the this is where the money is. All right. So here, I just grabbed hay. I was, she was up, and I just went with it. We never see her up. So I went with it. So here we go. So we've got one. I hope there's something going on in there. Uh oh. Uh-oh. That's not looking good. Okay, number one. Okay, it's been at least seven. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we've got a baby. I'm trying to remember, guys. We are at least day seven, as you can see. We may be day nine. I'm going to have to refer back. Look at it moving, y'all. Okay, we've got a baby. This baby is good. Okay, baby number three. Oh, my gosh. How far along are we? All right, we're good here, we're good. Baby number four. Okay, looking good, looking good. No, that one's not looking too hot. Nope, nope, nope. All right, let's check the first, the good three down here one more time. Okay, I'm trying to remember what day we're on, guys. Yeah, we're, we're really good on that one. All right, so it is definite to me that at least two of the three, oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so these three, I'm gonna give back to Miss Blanche. At this point, those are a no-go. So now we know, at this point in the game, we've got three goodies. Girlfriend, I come in peace, girlfriend. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to slide these over. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. Okay, so looky here. So this is where we have planted our potatoes. See this? Two weeks ago, I have not planted anything else. I'm not doing that till around Mother's Day because some of you have asked. Look, this is the potatoes that I got from the grocery store. Look, look, look. All of them are coming up. Look, boom, boom, boom unbelievable. Look down here. Look, look, look. 
So again, remember I told you, and a lot of you have done it and, has, and have had success. Right there we go, people. Okay, so this is the next row up, definitely coming up. I believe these are the Yukon Golds coming up, Yukon Golds. And then down here, remember how we did the Red Pontiacs down here? They're coming up as well. And I'll be John Brown. <laughs> that might be a watermelon coming up from last year. Okay, I see you. I see, okay. Okay, babies, I see you. Come on, come on. We're going, we're going, we're going. So, we should be cooking dinner. But James raced outside late this afternoon to do some mowing. At least to get the orchard down that I told you about that we're going to try to establish. And I've been looking online today while he was at work. Um, I definitely want to try some cherries. I did some cherries at the other house. More of like a bush. And they did great. So I think we're going to, uh, you know, advance that. Definitely going to try some pears and some apples. And some of you also suggested, which I had at the other house too, figs. They, I never got a whole lot of figs, but we're a little bit warmer down here, obviously. So that might be something to consider. But we're going to start somewhere in the ballpark right now between six and ten things. Get them planted. See how it works out. And then we'll make further decisions going forth. Remember, Patera, slow and steady wins the race. Okay, so we're definitely going to start at the back and fill in slowly going forth. Because my idea was, what if we did, you know, so many trees or so many bushes or whatever we wanted? I figure it's better to start kind of from the back. Because if we wanted to do regular gardening, it'd be easier to do that going in, coming into the garden from that area. Does that make sense? So your trees and your orchard or whatever. <laughs> I actually considered making this a big paddock uh, and changing the fencing out, obviously, and making it something like, something really nice for a bull. But I've got, sort of kind of changed my mind on keeping residency with bulls these days. So I think an orchard is the way to go. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Well, I'll be. As my grandmother used to say, I'll swan. <laughs> uh, I'd say that tomato steaks has, uh, I'd say she's seen better days. Oh, man, man alive. But look here, guys, here's something I'm gonna have to do. I just saw this. We have just found it together. Right here in the corner is a cedar tree and cannot be mowed down, cannot be cut down. I'm simply going to have to dig it up and give it a new home. It's way too sacred. So I could leave it here, probably would be okay. Actually, no, we don't, I don't want it here. I want it somewhere more sacred than this. I don't want a chance at getting damaged. So have another project here. So you're probably gonna hear Enoli barking because she can hear me. I'm actually gonna run in the house, throw together dinner, which is late and we have to run to Rural King. I am gonna get her a harness. And you're right, somebody commented and said, get her a harness, she might do better on the harness then. And you're right, I need to go get her a harness. So I've gotta get a few things this evening. So she wants to be down here, but see technically this is outside of her domain. I don't want her outside of her domain. So we are gonna be going to the vet this week. So we'll see how that goes. She is such a little stinker. Well, now it looks like nature is already working with me in here, right? We just got to clean some of it up. Definitely got to clean it up. It definitely needs some TLC, but we got to start small and go big, right? So that's going to work out really, really good. And let me tell you right now, folks, right down there in the holler, right beyond that tree line, there's no telling what creepy crawlies and beasts and creatures <laughs> roam in the night. Because trust me when I tell you, we hear them. She got me good. That Blanche, that Mama Blanche. Well, let's hope that sticks. I'm going to check and make sure she took the eggs and put them underneath her right before I go down to the kitchen. 
And I also want to let you know, I don't know how this is going to work out. We'll see. But I want to let OAG know, bless his heart and several of you out there that keep kicking me in the butt saying, how in the world have you not, have, did you get a silver play button? <sighs> I have been on the phone today with YouTube. They've been very nice to me, chatting with me. I do not have any record of them sending me anything um, for my silver play button. I hit 100,000 subscribers a year ago, January. So maybe I'm not eligible. Maybe I'm just too mean, you know? I don't know. But <laughs> the guy told me, he's like, uh, you should have you should have gotten that. And I'm like, well, thank you. Thank you. Do you how do you like your biscuits? <laughs> do you want some jelly on them? But anyway, they're going to get back to me the next couple of days. So I am in contact about that. But oh, my old Alabama garter, my Papa Charles, I'm telling you right now, he has been all over me. He has kicked me in the butt upside down and all around. I'd be doing push-ups probably if he was here. That's right. So we'll see if I get my silver play button. I'm at a, I'm going on 171,000, so maybe I've earned it by now. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to go check on Miss Blanche, get my man fed, and go get some items to take care of my critters. And I appreciate you being here. We'll keep you posted. And I'll go, I'll go lick over my wound a little bit. I think I'll survive. We'll see you on the next video. Well, did you miss me? Did you miss me? I've only been gone five minutes. Did you miss me? Oh my word. Look at that kissy, kissy face.